Hi, so we're in the third of our studies on the Gospel of John, and in particular, the great claims, the I am claims of Jesus. This is study number three, I am the door of the sheep. That's in John 10 verse 7. The idea of sheep and shepherds is firmly rooted in Jewish culture, isn't it? Abraham had his flocks, Jacob or Israel, as he became, when asked by Pharaoh what he did, responded, your servant is a shepherd. Moses was called by God from shepherding Jethro's flocks to shepherd his people out of Egypt. And David too was taken by God from caring for his father's sheep to become the shepherd king of Israel. This concept of shepherd would inspire David to write one of the best known of all scriptures, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Where Jesus says in our key scripture, I am the door of the sheep, what does he mean? Well, Jesus had in mind a sheepfold. Imagine a walled enclosure with an opening at one end. The shepherd would place his rod across this opening and count his sheep one by one into the sheepfold. A place of security where the shepherd could care for his sheep. A good shepherd would know his sheep by name and be able to identify each one individually. If one were missing, he would leave the 99 and search for the one. He would then sleep across the doorway, effectively becoming the door of the sheep, preventing the sheep from straying out of the sheepfold and stopping the wild animals from getting in. Jesus uses this analogy of the sheepfold to describe the kingdom of heaven and eternal life in God's presence. As the door, he is the sole means by which we enter into the kingdom of heaven into eternal life. There is no other way in. As Jesus will say later on, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. Once again, this I am statement of Jesus associates him with the I am God who revealed himself to Moses, the Yahweh, covenant God of Israel. And this declaration that he and only he is the door is absolute. And so again, we're left with a question. Is what Jesus says of himself here true? And if it is, what do we do with that truth? Here are some points for application. Number one, if you are studying in a group, Discuss what it means for you that Jesus is the door of the sheep. If you are studying by yourself, please write down your thoughts about this truth. Number two, in John 10, 16, Jesus says that he has other sheep which are not of this flock. To who is he referring? What significance does this have for you? Number three, Jesus promises in verse 9 that anyone who enters by me will be saved. This word saved here is sozo, a rich word meaning to be saved, kept from harm, preserved, rescued, saved from death, saved and free from disease, to thrive, prosper, be cured and healed. Discuss in your group what it means to be sozo saved. How can you share this truth and its application with those who have not yet experienced sozo? And number four, if you are not yet a Christian, what do you make of this claim of Jesus? Is it truthful and accurate? If so, what will you do with it? Once again, such a claim, if true, requires much more than just our mental assent. If Jesus Christ is God, and if he is the only way into the kingdom of heaven, into eternal life, will you accept him as your personal Lord 
and saviour.